Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. We just got done doing midterms and Sarah's obviously congratulations on nothing that she has t taught us at all. So we're about to find out what the scores are and see how this, where the story takes us. If you guys like this video, then please give it a good old thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. Clearly this is the goddess way of rewarding you all for your hard work. Heart. I love how she always has the heart symbol in her text. I don't think that's reason you would stand up scrutiny. Whew, I'm totally spent. It's over. <laughs> You've worked really hard, Fee. Whew. Anyway, today's a free day, so take the chance to unwind and blow off all that pent up exam stress. They'll post the results next Wednesday, so take it easy until then. But don't relax too much, because you've got your next practical exam next Monday afternoon, too. <sighs> With all this intensive study, I had completely forgotten about that. You could have stand to be a little more considered with the timing of your announcement. So next Wednesday is when we'll know where we're going for our next field study? Yep, you'll be shipping out that weekend for another exotic trip. Anyway, the most out of it tomorrow, everyone. You've earned at least one day off. Hmm. I guess I should probably attend club practice once in a while. Oh, and one more thing. I've got some business to take, out, take care of out of town after all done here. I won't be back until tomorrow night, so don't, like, burn the dorm down while I'm gone or anything. Free day. Wait. Okay. For some reason, I saw the blonde walk up, and I thought that she was important for some reason. I was like, oh, important character? No. are over. I feel free as a bird. And they'll keep on soaring, at least until the results come back. <laughs> <laughs> I sympathize, but personally, I've got a good feeling about these. How about you, Emma? How do you think you did? Well, I don't think I did too badly, all things considered. Mm. He's like, oh, I don't like the sun. Just, you. just stop before you embarrass yourself. We'll just have to wait and see what next week's results look like. Anyway, what do you think that was all about with Instructor Sarah? Oh, you mean that whole thing about going out of town to meet someone? Going out of town? Won't be back until tomorrow night? It's almost as if... She's going to meet her secret lover? <laughs> I highly doubt that. I would, I would see her, like, sneaky out for some beer. Impossible. The Empire hasn't yet turned out a man desperate enough to woo that alcoholic typhoon. Dang. You have a point. I can't deny she's got the looks to snare a man, but that personality and that lifestyle. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Totally agree, but ouch. Not surprised to hear that from you, though, Breen. She always seems to dump the most work on you. Will you be helping the student council again tomorrow? That's the plan. Heck. I'm almost looking forward to being the student council's errand boy after pulling up studying for so Perhaps so. Oh, please let us know if you plan on exploring the old schoolhouse. Yeah, I'd be glad to lend a hand this time. Thanks. Better watch out, though. I might take you up on that offer. Ooh, looks like we're all up for a little exploration this time. Where's the big man, though? I just noticed that he's not walking with us. Where'd he go? And Laura, she's missing, too. Think of it, where did Gaius run off to? Thank you! He mentioned the principal wanted to have a word with him. You think he went there? Ah, yeah. okay. I wonder what that was about. I hope he hasn't gotten into trouble. I mean, I doubt he would. I have no idea. He and Laura left early too. Oh, that's right, Fee is gone too. I forgot about her. Dang. I was kind of hoping we could all walk back to the dorm together for once. That sounds nice. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, so this might just be my imagination, but do those two seem kind of awkward around each other to anyone else? R really? So you think so too? It seems like it started around the beginning of the month. I wonder if something happened then. It 
It's like they've been avoiding each other ever since. Hmm. You say that, but I did not take either as the type to dwell on petty issues or misunderstandings. Neither did I. We've been trying to suss out what the problem between them is, but so far, no luck. I wonder if that's what that was all about. Did you see something, Machias? What happened? Well, do you remember the day we gave our group reports on what happened during last month's field study? We gave a truthful account, including the part where Fee used an explosive to blast open the door to my cell. Yeah? That's when we found out that Fee used to be in a Jaeger Corps. That really threw me for a loop, but what does that have to do with Laura? Well, when that came up, I couldn't help but notice Laura had a rather unpleasant expression. It flashed across her face for only a moment, though, so I wondered if I had just imagined it. Interesting. But even if we assume that's true, what reason would she have to be upset? Hmm. I can hardly hazard a guess. We all have certain things we'd rather keep to ourselves. We even have a member of this very class who remains tight-lipped about her own family, after all. Do you really have to drag me into this? My apologies. I meant no offense. I do have my suspicions as to your lineage, however. Really? Ugh, you. Oh no, getting angry won't accomplish anything. Don't worry. We're not gonna twist your arm into telling us. When you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. Yeah, well you pretty much are by night, but not talking about it. You never want to talk about it, and then when someone does, you change the subject so fast. It's just, if everyone knew, it'd make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. Welcome back, my lady. Uh-oh, it's Maid Lady huh? again. What? Sharon? It's so delightful to see you again. Oh, hey. It's that maid I ran into the other day. You know her? What are you doing here? She did it. Mother didn't... <laughs> but of course, I was sent here at the behest of the chairman herself. Starting today, I will be assuming the position of caretaker for Class 7's dormitory. Sharon Kruger? It's a Freddy Kruger? Your acquaintance, everyone. My name is Sharon Kruger. Do you know a guy named Freddy? Does he have long fingernails? I am a servant in the employ of the Reinford household. Lady Elisa's family. Uh-oh, she just spilled the beans. I will do all I can to be of service to you. So please keep me informed of anything you might need. Because I don't think we knew her last name until now. Chapter 3, Beyond the Railways. So everyone's just like, so that's why you wouldn't tell us. Whatever their family does. Simply spectacular. Just how many different types of food are there here? This looks... more than edible. I believe this is what they call an imperial breakfast? <laughs> imperial breakfast. The royal treatment. That's right, Emma. It's a traditional Erebonian style of breakfast. I must apologize. It's taken me some time to familiarize myself with this kitchen, so my cooking has been a bit lackluster. Come now, Sharon. Your skill is something to be praised. This is far more colorful and varied than the breakfast served in my own home. I would compare this spread favorably with the breakfast served in the Duke's household. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. I've also brewed both tea and coffee if anyone would like some. I get the feeling Elisa is less than impressed with the meal. 
It sounds like they had a big argument yesterday. We have a flashback? Not a chance! I thought I'd finally, finally gotten away from her. I'm not going to let her have her way this time. My lady, please. I truly don't believe the chairman sent me to keep an eye on you like that. She simply sent me so that her beloved daughter might have fewer inconveniences in her daily life. What? I'm pretty sure you're like her top maid and you're probably going to act as her eyes and ears for the mom. So she, Alyssa does not believe that for a freaking second. I can take perfectly good care of myself. Thank you very much. Oh, fine. I'll take this up with her myself then. Is she in the office at corporate today or is she out on inspection or something? I believe she'll be dining with the Ministry of Railways president in the capital today. After that, she'll be continuing her inspection tour, so she won't be back in Ruwer for another five days. Does she ever slow down? I'm surprised she doesn't burn through a pair of shoes a week. Anyway, I'm not going to take this lying down. She stuck her nose into things one too many times. that R actually stood for Elisa Reinford. And from the sound of it, her mother's the company chairman too. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that Elisa's mom is basically in charge of the continent's biggest industrial company. Her family's probably got more money than most of the aristocracy. I can see why she'd want to keep her family under wraps or with all the nobles here. Yeah, they probably would have been kissing her ass so much. And so I can completely understand that, yeah, because it's like the bigger, bigger deal you are in the school, the more people would just want to kiss you, kiss your butt and just suck up to you. And she was like, I just want to live a normal high school life. Just please, just let me have this. But I guess the mom was like, nah, you're at least going to take this maid with you. Anyway, I object to everything about this. Considering how busy mother is, I'm sure she needs your assistance far more than I do. <laughs> I knew it. You're really concerned about her, aren't you? The way you two care so much for each other deep down is one of the reasons I'm so proud to serve you. Th that's preposterous. Oh, my lady, I almost forgot to mention that I made plenty of your favorite apricot jam. Would you like me to spread some on your toast? Ooh, really? I mean, stop treating me like a child. Though, yes, I would like some jam. It's almost heartwarming to watch. <laughs> Looks like Sharon's got her number. After beginning the day with Sharon's peerless breakfast, the members of Class 7 left to go out their daily routine. Meanwhile, Reen went back to check the task the student council has given for the day. Let me just check the schoolhouse. Secret admirer. Okay, you guys can pause the video. You guys would like to read those. They have requests from George and Angelica. It's about the order by too. I wonder what they need my help with. Looks like I'll have to swing by the engineer club before I head to the old schoolhouse. Well, this is the first sun I've seen in days, so I might as well make the most of it. All right, let's do this. Dang it, I want to like exchange way more than this. I don't really need to move. Um, okay, I really don't need that either. I got plenty of that. That's the ingredient store, basically. Oh, there's Laura. Wait. Oh, hello, Rain. It's rude to see you up here by yourself. What's up? Haha, <laughs> I actually found myself rather interested in the store's wares, so I decided to browse for a while. I'm surprised how enjoyable it's been. Should I join her? Yes, because I want to know what's going on if she's ever going to reveal it. Haha, <laughs> feel free. It gives me a good chance to have you tell me more about the things being sold here. 
but I'll know about all about them myself. A plushie! Hmm, they have a wide variety of items here on display, most of which I'm unfamiliar with. Which leads me to question I'd like to ask you, Mia. What sort of goods and accessories do girls my age tend to like? Uh, what? I ask because, well, I've noticed that there's a significant difference between myself and other girls here. For example, when I was shopping with Marga recently, I went to find myself searching for equipment to keep my sword in shape. Meanwhile, Marga was finding over cute accessories and like, doesn't this prove that I'm rather strange? No, you just have different tastes in what you want. Well, you're from different class backgrounds for one thing. That's a difference between you already. But even amongst the other nobles, you are a little bit different. Just as I thought. This is of no issue. If there's something I lack, then all I need to do is take the opportunity to learn. But tell me, which of the items here would most likely grab a girl's attention? I mean, I'm not exactly an excellent subject, but... Green grabbed a cute mascot plush that was sitting on the shelf. How about this Mishi plush? He's a pretty popular character over in Crossbell. Fascinating. He's certainly charmed to say the least. How about this? Green grabbed a strap with a blue tail muscle man attached to it. This doggy character has a rather gallant look on him, doesn't he? I am wondering if sure that most girls wouldn't have any interest in him. Oh, this is more challenging than I expected. Rin and Laura end up looking at it, sort of proud appealing to Laura's unique taste. In the end, though, they end up pursing the Mishy plush. I couldn't be more grateful for your assistance, Rin. If it weren't for you, I never would have purchased something so nice. <laughs> no problem. Still, my grasp on what other girls my age like remains tenuous. It seems I have a long and harsh path ahead of me from ever to truly know. You know, you don't have to force yourself to be like everyone else, because you aren't like everyone else. You are you. You are who you are, and that's exactly why we like you. Hmm. <laughs> you gave me lots to think about today. Let me thank you once again. I would like for us to go shopping again if you have the time. Sure, that would be fun. Bone with Laura strengthened. <gasps> uh, almost level 3, come on. Fishing. Oh, there he is. Dang. Wow, it looks like he's really into it. Ah, oh, hello there, Reed. Sorry, I was caught in my game there. No worries. If I disturbed you, is there a big chess game coming up or something? You seem way more focused than I expect for just a regular match. Indeed, there is. And not just any match either. It's a match that will determine the fate of this club. But I have every intention of completely dominating the upper class students. Chess always seems pretty interesting. Should I stick around and watch? Sure, why not? Be my guest. But if you know the rules about how we play a game instead, I'm sure you have much more fun doing that than just watching. Are you sure? Might as well. I'll watch you so come on and take a seat then. Are we actually about to play chess? Oh god, we are. And that's checkmate. That didn't take long. That's some high level play, Machias. I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> it's nothing special. My father taught me to play when I was young. I've been playing against each other ever since, so I've had years of practice now. Apparently, he's never lost a game back home. He really is the savior of the chess club. So you were playing against adults ever since you were a kid? I'll definitely explain things. I used to tag along with my dad whenever he went hunting, but I never got that good at it. 
stay here. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. I should never be asked like that. Hunting's not an excusing noble pastime after all. It's just, uh, not common after all. Haha, <laughs> I can imagine. Last one's first time gave me a lot to think about. Come to realize it's unfair of me to pass judgment on noble simply for being born into that life. For example, I've never met your parents. I can tell from talking to you that they're good people. Fuck yous. <laughs> Man, I'm glad we made up. So don't start getting weird on me now. I don't really get what you're talking about, but yeah, friendship's what youth's all about. Speaking of, how you join your pal in the chess club, Bree. We'll need as many people as possible if we want to take down the upper class chess club. So, sorry, but I'll have to decline. The members of the upper class chess club are like community players weaker than they are. This isn't about the fact that they're nobles anymore. They're shaming the very act of playing chess, pure and simple. And Steph and I aren't going to let that stand. Well said, Machius. Then I'll be cheering you guys on. Good luck, Machius. Thanks, I won't let you down. Oh, oh, come on. Someone give me a three. No, where are you? There you are. Whew. Why wow, close are curled with dirt? even more into this than I realized. <laughs> it's just dirt, hardly an issue. It takes a good deal of effort to care for horses. I suppose it's only natural to end up like this. Haha, <laughs> I suppose you're right. Should I give him a hand while I'm here? Yes. Care for a little help? I've got some experience working with horses myself, so uh, it'll help things go a little faster. It must be your hobby to show up unbidden to assist people. Your offer does come as an opportunity, though. I'm just about to start washing them, so feel free to join in. Phew, this is every bit as tough as I remember it being. Hmm, already think of throwing the towel. You were the one who offers to help, so don't think I'll let you back out so easily. Ha, huh, I know, I know. Aren't you getting a little tired yourself, Eusis? We wouldn't want you to overstrip your frail little noble body or anything. Maybe you should go take a nap. Dang. Hmm. What do you take me for? This is nothing. Perhaps if you put as much effort into your work as you do in your toothless jokes, we'd be done by now. Shut up! I'm doing just fine. I guess Yusin isn't any friendlier towards girls than he is to guys. Right. Time to... F What the? Whoa there. We've got a wild one here. Understandable. This horse recently arrived from the North Highlands. He's still young, so he hasn't quite grown close to the stables yet. Does the school normally get horses all the way from the Highlands? Indeed, they're known to breed the best horses. Even the army gets their horses from there. Now then. He just gently stroked the horse's neck. You're pretty good at that. When I was younger, I used to go to the stables and never felt bored. My brother taught me both how to ride horses and how to take care of them. I am truly grateful for that. You two are lucky to have each other. Grr, I'm not gonna let some sneaky noble who learned about horses with a silver spoon is not show me up like this. It's so, but he's definitely changed since we came up from our last field study. It feels like he's more willing to open up to this now. Care to explain what you're staring at? <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyway, we've got a horse to clean. Reen helped the riding club for a while longer before bidding us his farewell. Come on, level three, level three, level three! Ah, you bastard. Today is Wednesday, right? So aren't I able to like check the scores of the school? That's the stadium. Here's the front. Door. Wait, is this fish? Yeah, fish man's over here. I caught some fish. Give me some points.
I already have one. He has nothing. Hey there, Reen. Thanks for stopping by. Might I ask my listen, Lord? Those two lovely flowers would do wonders in brightening up this dreary old building. Let's not make Reen's life even harder than it already is. <laughs> Sorry, I probably shouldn't think out loud. I still haven't talked to Angelica much, but she's definitely an interesting one. That aside, your request was for me to assist with testing out the Orlobite, wasn't it? So what will I be doing? Oh, please. I could hear you making the vroom vroom noises before you even stepped to the door. I was not. But wait, does that mean... Yeah, we want you to ride the oral bike. Me? I can't deny this. that's what I wanted this to be, but I never expected it to actually happen. I'll give you all the juicy details when we're actually ready to test. Before we start, however, we want to make sure you have the time. So how about it? You ready to ride? First of all, let me tell you a little bit about the bike. Everything you see is something that Angie asked me to build for her. And because of that, the bike's been fine to to meet her needs. In that show, it's all Angie. The engine, the brakes, even the handlebars. I see. As you might expect, she and that bike are practically symbiotic. When she's on it, she's a sight to behold. But because we tuned it specifically to her, it's become a little too tough for anyone else to handle. <laughs> Think of her as an unruly horse. There's no denying she's a fine bike, but she doesn't play nice with strangers. Right, I'm really hoping I make it through this alive. Don't scare him now, Angie. Crow's ridden it just fine. But I suppose we've been working on this bike since we started to. Compared to him, you're a complete beginner, which is great. You have a more objective opinion about your ride. I guess it makes sense why you ask me then. <laughs> Feeling a little nervous, aren't we? Let's go to the highway. Toe and Crow doing here. <laughs> Angie and George told us you'd be doing this, so I came along to show some support and take some time off work. My reason is quite as sweet as Little Toe is here. Like I said before, this bug's at least partly my baby. Think of me as an overprotective father, making sure you don't mess up or hurt my girl when you take her out. Thanks. Crow, don't make him any more nervous. Don't worry, Reen. Just ignore everything this guy says I do. It's worked great for me. We can rebuild the bike, so stay focused and keep yourself safe. Right, thanks. Do you have much experience riding horses? Actually, yeah. You shouldn't have any trouble, Reen. She's a whole different beast, but the basics of riding are the same. So have fun. Thanks, Jacob. That, that helps. I won't let you down. I get it now. The three things you want me to test are starting up the bike, shifting gears, come to a stop, correct? That's right. We want to see how you handle everything. Let me give you a few pointers. You might not really get them until you're on the bike proper, though. Hit me. First of all, you can't ride if you can't get moving. So let's talk about how to get started. Starting the engine is simple enough, but how soon you ride off will depend on how well you operate the bike's clutch. Once you shift it to first gear, open the throttle, then slowly, slowly, steadily release the clutch. Release the clutch slowly, steadily while I start moving. Okay, I'll try not to forget. Next up is switching gears. Before switching gears, make sure you pull on the clutch quickly and firmly. Once you shift gears, release the clutch slowly and steadily, just like when you start her up. I can do that. The last thing you need to worry about is stopping the bike, which you probably want to know how to do. When you want to slow down, release the throttle and apply the brakes to both wheels front and back. You're going to want to give each one different amounts of pressure though. Apply the brakes roughly to the front wheel and lift it to the back wheel. That should bring you to a smooth stop. Bring the front strongly to the front, lightly to the back. 
That's a lot of remember, but I think I can do this. Haha, <laughs> that's the way. This is all about learning through experience and getting used to writing. So I will. So what do you say, ready to go? Is it gonna ask me questions as I ride this bike? I really hope not. Right then, first is starting up the engine. Wow, that's pretty intense. Ah, it kind of reminds me of how I felt when I first rode a horse. Right, let's push this nurse to the side and get going. Okay, so I pulled the clutch level, shift first, and twist the throttle. Now that I've done that, all I need to do is let go of the clutch and I'll be moving. You guys told me how to do this. What did she say again? Uh, um. Okay. Now we're talking. This is great. Oh, jeez. I thought I was gonna get that wrong. I was like, please don't get it wrong. Ha, huh, there he goes. Can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets back. He's gonna love it. <laughs> Hopefully. I know it's quickly and then slowly. Pulling quickly, really slowly. Pulling quickly. It says these two twice. It gave me like a pretty much a 75 chance of getting the right answer. It said it twice. Going this fast really does feel great. I get why Angelica loves it so much. Well, the fun's got to come to an end eventually. I'll probably about time to stop. I'll see I need to hit the brakes. How much pressure do I need to put on? Strongly to both wheels. Strongly for the front, lightly for the back. I remember that. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Joe has said strong to the front wheels and light to the rear brakes. Did I get all three right? Yup. I stopped almost exactly where I expected to, so I guess I did it right. The thing's incredible though. It feels like I'm still riding along even though I came to a stop. But I guess I gotta snap out of the bench. The others are waiting for me. I better head back now. Welcome back, me. Well, how was it? I'm I'm amazed to say the least. The sheer speed, the initial vibration, the feel of the wind as you ride along. I never experienced anything like it. No amount of horse riding could have ever prepared me for this. Just wow. <laughs> but you've got some potential. Look at this guy. He's trying to act all calm and composed, but the face is just screaming, Let me go back and ride. <laughs> Plain as day. Seems like you handled it really well, too, based on your report. I have to admit, I didn't expect those kind of results out of you. I'm pretty unworthy machine. It's even more impressive considering it was ride with her too. Nice to know that I could have had a with Brown waiting in weeks. <laughs> Not everyone can get that much praise like Angie. You should be cut yourself in the butt. <laughs> it's a real honor. Now we need to hear some more detailed impressions of each phase. But let's do that back at the engineer building. Good plan. Ah, we are having so much fun with this. <laughs> Maybe too much. Thanks, Reed. The info you gave me should come in handy. Haha, <laughs> glad I could help. 
I think she'll be a much more stable life from now on. I'll have to be sure to tell Alyssa's mother about everything we learned today, if they end up mass producing mobile bikes. Alyssa's mother is the chairman of the Renfrew Group, isn't she? I didn't know you were familiar with each other. The Rockner and Renfrew family share a good relationship, actually. Oh yeah, they're both big names in Aurora, right? Yeah, Angie's dad is one of the group's biggest shareholders, too. Wow, they are pretty close. Well, now you know. Melissa's mother provided the engine and a number of other parts of the bike, too. So that's how you got your hands on everything. That's right. Although whether or not Renfrew will actually mass produce the bike is an entirely different matter. Their biggest goal is to turn a profit, so the only way it's happening is if you show them that it would make money. Which is why we're currently trying to make it into something that masses can handle. And today, you were a big help in being close to that goal. Wow, I'd love to see that happen. <laughs> Looks like you get it. I'm guessing the first impression you were around in one. Oh, and I haven't properly thanked you yet, have I? Thank you for helping us today. Here's a little token of my thanks. Blue Dragon Bane? Are you sure about this? It seems like a really valuable course. Mm, of course, I'm sure you'll be able to put it to good use. Well then, Ring, thanks a lot for your help today. I'd like it if you could help us out next time if we need a hand too. I'll cancel my plans as soon as you ask. Yes, so that's done. And unfortunately, I ran out of time for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!